Hey guys, here's another example on the conservation of momentum. Uh, we've got an example on flow out of a tank. So here's the example here. If at the instant shown the tank and the water in it weigh W1 newtons, find tension in the cable. So here is our diagram. We've got a tank and we've got a dish below it. There's a hole in the tank, so there's a flow out of the tank and a cable supporting it in part A. Uh, which we're going to carry out in this video, we've been asked to find what the tension is. So because there is a flow out of the tank, there's going to be some variance of tension felt by the cable holding the tank up, and it will keep varying until the tank is empty. Uh, but for the particular instant we've been told, we need to apply the conservation of linear momentum to find the anchoring force for the given dimensions. Now we're assuming this is a steady flow. You can generally assume steady flow unless you're told otherwise, uh, or if the question mentions anything about changing density with time. So we can get rid of the first term uh, of the conservation of momentum equation, get rid of that. So we're only left with this right hand term here, so we've got to identify the control volume we're considering. So for part A we're considering the force due to the weight and the contents of the tank, so I'm going to take the contents of the tank as my control volume. That's my CV there. I'm going to include the little bit exiting the tank uh, to just to emphasize the fact that we're considering the 0 0.04 meter diameter surface as one of our control volume surfaces. Um, so I'm going to have two surfaces, two uh, so this free surface here is going to be 1, and the surface in here is going to be 2. Uh, careful here with your notation, it gets a bit confusing as we change from numbering volumes to numbering surfaces. So this is going to be CV1. Uh, later on, we'll, we'll look at the, the dish. So just be careful of that. Uh, we'll apply the linear momentum equation to these two surfaces. I'm going to have integral across the first surface of rho v1 v